Hi, Doc. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit crazy because you should see what happened last night. Adam surprised me. <gasps> Watch the VT. So, you've got something for me. Yes. I'm intrigued. Something that you've talked about a lot and it's present. And also possibly you know it's some me, inspiration. You know it's my birthday coming. Well, I know. That's kind of, yeah. That's yeah. It. I mean, you're part paying for this yourself. Like, but, okay, you know, out of the business. <laughs> I've got to close my eyes. Right, okay. Right, let's shift right. that out the way. I was going to say, Eliana's in the way. Right. So I'm going to put that in front of you. Keep your eyes closed. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> what, what the hell is it? Is this, is this? Oh my God! Oh my God! It's deafened everyone. Oh my God! Oh my God! Do you know what? I was watching last night, All That Glitters, <laughs> which is a um, jewellery programme. Mm -hmm. And I just get fascinated by stuff like this. I can't believe, I can't believe I've got, I've actually got him. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe, I can't, I'm... So Mark Lloyd is a good friend of mine. He's a jeweller. Everybody should go and support his YouTube channel, his TikTok and all that kind of stuff. Because he does really cool content. But we've talked about how we do some collaborations together. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm literally speechless. How the hell has he... Got that I know. <laughs> detail. How? I mean, we need to get super close on that. This is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Don't think about um, it, you know. <laughs> I love you, I do. <laughs> Look, just, I'm sorry. I know I've been going on. I just want these as earrings. I just want them as earrings. I can't believe me. Adam's had a maid for me. Yeah, the first ones you did were so fucking heavy. <laughs> it was unbelievable. I could, oh, I'm sorry, they're going in. They're going in. I, I, I can't. I'm never taking them out. I'm never, ever taking them out. Hold on. I can't, I can't believe this. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <gasps> I can't. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe it. So Mark said he's up for doing some collabs. <gasps> We're up for doing some collabs. <laughs> so, can people buy these from him? Well, he has talked about that. Yeah, he has. He has talked about doing it. So he could. He could. These are obviously a one-off thing, but he now he knows what he's doing. He could. Yeah, he could. Oh my God! You need to go and follow this guy, and hound him for these earrings. <laughs> because, I mean, they're heavy, but <laughs> like they feel like luxury. Yeah. Like, they're as heavy as the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean. I can't.
can't believe it. Thank you so much. You are Thank you so now, much. Now you do some nails to go with them or something. I don't know what we oh can do. Oh my God. But we could just put Mark in the video as well, so. Oh, definitely. <laughs>
Yes, much better. And then we're going to do, if you look at the width of it, it's just inside the shoulder, kind of here and here. And that's going to go all the way up to be the length of the handle of the bottle. So when we look at that, what I need to do is remove, because I, I don't, I could just build it up on the nail, and nail could be a full nail. I want the nail to be the 3D version of the bottle. So I'm going to remove this. So yes, you could take scissors, you could take nippers. Um, we're going to do it in a few different ways, and we'll see what works best. Because like I said, I've not done this before. <laughs> I'm going to cut slightly in front of that line with some nippers because I know that the plastic will kind of like squish and I, then I've got like a millimetre to file. This is actually working not too bad. Mm. And this is a full cover gel tip so even though it's pink it won't be pink at the end. It could, you could do this on a um, clear tip, obviously, if you want to make your own. Um, but we're going to do, we'll, you'll learn some things from this design. Don't just think, well, I don't want to make a bottle. We're going to learn some 3D skills. We're going to learn some chrome skills as well. But lots of things can go wrong when I'm doing this as well. So, yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to do this for now. Because if i got scissors, for instance... So if you've got cuticle scissors, it, it, yes, it works. Yeah, so the, 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 the plastic ain't that strong. Well, it, I mean, I've got to press hard. Yeah. I don't know which one's best, actually. I don't know if it's the scissors or... I don't know. Because I've still got to cut... I, Cut through this little bit here with the scissors. Hey, it's taking shape already. But let's just, let's cut. The only thing is, you know, cuticle scissors are meant for skin. And you really don't want to blunt them off. So I would definitely use scissors that maybe are at the end of their life. Oh, it does take long. Oh, that's too long. Man. That's too time consuming. Let's do it with the... The nippers. And again, nippers are sort of, you know, they're meant for skin. Or dead skin. So you want to use some old nippers, really. Maybe the ones that you use to remove crystals from nails. They'd be, like, perfect. Just get that little bit off. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is file these nice and straight. So I'm going to use, I've got the metal center board in this file. Okay. 180 grit should be plenty. So we're a little bit wonky, but we're going to use the file. Notice I'm using this rounded side. Yes, we could use this side, but we've got to go at a higher angle. Whereas if I kept filing like this, I'm going to eat into this side too much. So I want to make sure I'm using that round section, the curved side of the moon-shaped file. And then I can... In there, but what will get in there even better is the metal file. So the metal file will get a sharper edge. So if you want sharp edges on your nails, the metal file is always going to be your go-to. Well, let's do the other side. Then we want to do these facets, don't we? So it's all faceted. We need to build up a bit of curvature on the stem. And we want to build the facets, so we want a platform here and the facets here. So if we look, we have, it comes in like this, this. Okay. 
out. We have got it here, here, and here, there, there. So just do a rough sketch. Yep. Something like that. So I'm going to use Genesis Onyx acrylic powder. So that's a black powder. Um, and we're going to build up a little bit of 3D structure with it as well. It's not a structure powder. So if you were doing a an acrylic nail extension and you were putting the black on the free edge, you would want to cap it in clear. But because this is, you know, not really for wearing every day. <laughs> We don't need to worry about that. And I'm going to use the Alicia 3D brush. Sometimes I may use the, where are you, Mr. Buttons? The Mr. Buttons brush as well, because this is our smallest acrylic brush. And if you look, you know, there's a substantial amount of space to fill here, yeah. but then I'll need the 3D brush to add my detail. I'm going to do the main body to get this platform. So notice it's quite a dry bead, but it will actually move for, you know, a little bit more than a structure powder. So as much as it looks really dry at first, it does move for quite a while. So try not to be scared of the black powder. So why are you using black? So the reason I'm using black is because we're going to chrome this. I didn't want to use just black. Yeah, I didn't want to use just black um, gel polish, which you could do. That's absolutely fine. But I know that with a gel polish, I may lose some of the facets because obviously gel polish likes to be round, it gives you round edges. Whereas acrylic, I can file it, just like Mark did with the silver, mm -hmm. you know, because they are silver, made with solid, the earrings are solid silver, but they are... Rose gold plated. Rose gold plated, yeah. yeah. Because you said the gold, if they were full rose gold or gold, it would be too way too heavy. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the silver's lighter than gold. Yeah. It's less dense. Um, and he was going to try hollow with just gold, but he was just really struggling to sort of hollow it out. Right? Yeah, to to make the pieces and get them together. And like, like you said, I think he. I like them that they're solid because they they kind of regretted this. I think to a certain extent. <laughs> Saying, yes, because it was such a pain in the backside. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he was really happy when he nailed it. Yeah. Man, the pun. Pun. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, they are absolutely amazing. I love watching jewellers make jewellery. I love watching any kind of creative process. It's... So I'm just knitting up those edges. So we can see we're kind of getting that shape. But I want to make sure it's quite flat. So I'm just going to add a little bit more product. Mainly to the outer edges. So can you see down the barrel how we have a little bit of thickness here and here and then we have something to file against. So I can see you want a little bit more on this corner. So checking the angles just like you would if it's a nail. So checking all those angles is really important. Sometimes the nail really looks lovely from the overhead view of the nail. But then you look down the barrel and you can see that there is, you know, imperfections or it's not an even distribution of product. So that's really important when you're doing nails. 
and I've just really paddled the brush. But it is a smaller brush, so it's a really manageable brush if you're new to doing nails. The Mr. Buttons is definitely that go-to brush because you can work with a little bit more precision. Let's do these sides. Where's the bottle gone? I just want to get this right. So yeah, did I finish saying why I was doing black? No. Ah, sorry. I was going to actually ask you, did you, did you say it before you started talking about the structure part? But no, I was talking more about the... Why have you chosen yeah. black as a colour? So black, so we're going to use black as our main colour because it, when you do chrome, chrome looks better and the effect is better over a dark colour. Now, yes, you can use gel polish, but gel polish will lose the facets. You and I want to keep... as sharp as possible. Yeah, I mean, they are slightly curved, but we'll get that from the top coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I want to keep them as sharp as I can with the acrylic, because the acrylic can be filed and manipulated a lot easier than gel polish. Gel polish likes to be round and smooth. So it's definitely more it's more beneficial to do it this way. So let me just go to my 3D brush now because I want to add these top little shoulders here with the smaller brush. Feather that bit off. It's kind of like a little triangle. And I'm just patting and pressing the product to create those facets. And this facet is a lot smaller, so that's why I went to the, the Alicia 3D brush. Maybe we'll get a little bit more detail with this brush. So I'm going to start by making this section a little bit more rounded. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, so it's like the lid and then you've got the neck yeah. in between. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got the neck here and I put I will put a little bit of acrylic in there after because if you look. It's like it's like little There's a slight little little bulge. Yeah. Bulge. There's Isn't a bulge. <laughs> but I want to make this round. Not obviously not as round as the actual, you know, bottle, but it's gonna have a curvature to it. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is sort of pattern press product up the center. So the height of the product is in the center of this stem or that handle. Yeah, it's two things, isn't it? It's a lid and a handle. Yeah. So we have bulk in the middle that we can then start to round off a bit. I'm going to let it settle a little bit. You'll notice that it even looks more rounded now. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to let it settle a little bit. Can you see how shiny it's gone? So the product's starting to polymerize. And if I leave it a little bit, then what will happen is I'll be able to pass and press it and it'll hold the shape more. If I start to pat and press into the um, acrylic as soon as I've put it on, it will then just slowly move and smooth off, which sometimes is great, but I want to be able to pat and press it and it stays where I put it. So having that timing is really important when you're doing... 3D. So I'm going to pat, press, and pull this. I'm going to chase a little product up to the top and flatten that off. I want it thin with product at the edges. And you can 
can see at the side, we're starting to get a little bit of bulk here, which is but like we don't normally want bulky nails, no. do we? But um, in this instance, we want some height in the middle. Are you going to like maybe gel polish the underneath black and then chrome that? This bit. No, the underneath. Like, I know, I think it's going to have to be empty because yeah. it'll just look a bit weird. I mean, obviously, if it's just on the tip and it's just sitting there, but you do anything else with it. Yeah, if I put it onto a necklace, like you say, it'll need to be coloured underneath because it might look a bit unsightly. And yeah, we can gel polish that because it doesn't matter about the bulk underneath, you know, well, not bulk, there wouldn't be a massive amount of bulk, but it wouldn't soften any facets because there's no facets underneath. Now, let me just let that settle a bit. I know it looks lumpy bumpy now, but let it settle, let it go shiny, then we can press it um, and we won't, um, won't have a problem because if we, keep, if we keep moving this now, it'll stick to your brush and it'll start to come off. But if we let it go a bit shiny, and just as it starts to lose its shine, that's when you can start to press into it. So if we look, it's really shiny at the moment. And I can see it's just starting to lose a bit of shine. Just gonna make sure we have enough product there. I can pat, press and pull and slide that product where I want it and it will stay. You can see that we're building height there, yeah? Mm -hmm. So at the minute it's like a bit triangular, it's a little bit pointy, but we need that first and then we can round it off. So you see if you try to move it straight away, you see how it just wants to stick to your brush and it doesn't hold its shape, it's kind of like a sloppy mess. Whereas if we then leave it now, let it go shiny, let it just start to lose its shine, then we can pat and press it. If you really want it, if you want to do like flowers and things like that, don't just put the bead down and try to work it straight away. You want to just let give it a minute, clean your brush, shape your brush, then by the time you go to it, should be able to start to move it. Don't just race in there. Look at your product, examine it. Is it ready to be attacked? If it's a sloppy mess, no, it's not ready. So I'm just smoothing now. Yeah, so we've got like a nice curve on the top of here now. I just want to go to my 3D brush now. And Get a nice edge here. How long did it take Mark to make the earrings? Do you think? Um, I don't really know. I never asked him, but he just said it went through a lot of iterations. Yeah, a lot of a lot of trial and error. Yeah. Yeah, lots and lots of trial and error with it. Because I think when he first did them, they were even bigger. Yeah. And heavier. Yeah. And it's a lot of, because obviously they're thinner than the bottle, aren't they? Yeah. So he tried to make them exactly the same dimensions as the bottle. Yeah. And it just didn't work at all because it was just, well... Too heavy. Yeah, way, way, way too heavy. It would make it impractical, just to like this nail. <laughs> mm. Yeah, because this nail is definitely impractical. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I think you could wear it. Mm -hmm. Right, I want to do this little, little tiny neck here. So, 3D brush, guide it into position while it's, you know, really, really movable. I can neaten that up a little bit while it's still quite wet. But then again, I want to wait for it to start to be 
I need it to be a little bit more polymerized before I start to really shape it. Right, we want that to fully set and then we can file and buff. Right, so we set. That's the test. High pitch sound. We know it's set. You can, most people go on their acrylic and they know it's set to get that high pitch sound, not a dull sound. It's a dull sound, it's not set. So, file. Let's get the sides. Side walls, nice and straight. <laughs> This could this could go with my nail file. Oh yeah, so I saw some pictures of that. I haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, I've it's seen cool. Pictures of it. I enjoyed doing that. My nail file keyrings. Always coming handy. Mm hmm. They do. They're actually in my car. Right, so I'm just going to round this off now. Just to, this is this is kind of like a nail, isn't it, if you think about it? Mm -hmm. This is very much like a nail, so I want to make sure, that we, you know, we've got the curves right, it's nice and straight. So you want that top curve to be nice and round. Because if you leave any imperfections, then what will happen is when you chrome the bottle, it will show up every last inch of the imperfections. I think it does need some acrylic. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna feather that off. Feather it off up the handle. It is quite when you're filing it. It's quite. It's quite bouncy. It's like yeah. I don't want it to snap, snap on. Exactly. So while that's setting, I can I can file this bit. So we're going to go quite flat. So now we're going to do the facets. So I'm going quite flat here at the side, and you'll see that we're now getting a nice sharp edge there. Yeah, and we can do the same on this one. Check every time. So do a couple of swipes of your file and then check. While I make my own chrome, or customise the chrome, I'm going to top coat this. It's, it's, it takes a lot of effort to do it though. Yeah. I am appreciating the efforts that have gone in. So, you don't want your top coat too thick, but you don't want it too thin. You want to make sure you can still see the facets. So make sure you do this slowly because you don't want to lose the facets, but you need a smooth application. Any imperfections will be shown by the chrome. I'm a poet and I didn't know it. And don't get me wrong, it won't be perfect, I, 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 you know. I'm aware that I am not Mark Lloyd, the fabulous jeweler. I am a nail tech. Right, and once you're happy, that's it. We can go in to the lamp. 30 second cure. Actually, we're gonna cure it for 20 seconds because we're gonna chrome. Because you, it will really stick to it then. Gonna get my Brendette brush, which I use for pigment. Because this is my fluffy one. I don't put gel in it, so I make sure it stays super fluffy. Because if we use some of this, 
we say we get this lid here. It's a little bit too pinky. Mm. If we take some gold. Oh, that's working. Okay, so yeah. separating. I was the one thinking Right. No, so we need to make more. So I'm just gonna put some of that in there. Not that big. Didn't want to come out. It is a solid one, whereas this is just loose. I want to mix this together. And you can kind of see on the black lid what colour you're going to get. I think it's pretty close. So that's a pinky rose gold with a bit of gold. What can go wrong? Ah, right, here we go. Oh, it's not, not, not a bad match. Oh. And it's not a bad match, is it? Oh. Now, I do like rubbing it in with my fingers. Kind of brush it on and burnish the chrome in. <laughs> what? It's just, it's just coming alive. I know, you can see the facets now. This is quite possibly the coolest thing I've ever made. The colour match though. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? I know. It's really bad. And when you get the top coat on it, it becomes more Shiny and reflective. Yeah. I'm hoping it becomes more shiny now. <laughs> right, okay. Let's put it back on that. So I am going to put it in for another 10 seconds minimum because don't forget we didn't cure it for full, the full cure. So we fully cured it now. I mean, on the bottle, it's pink. On the earrings, it's just get etched, isn't it? It's on the earrings, yeah. Let's um, it's lasered in, so it's it, you know it's embossed in, mm. etched, whatever you would call it. So, do I paint it? Do I try and do that? Oh, this is a hard decision. I'm going to top coat it while I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and because we've already put the chrome on, it doesn't matter about the top coat being a little bit thicker because the facets will remain because the chrome will show the facets off. I'm scared to ruin it. Oh. <sighs> so scared to ruin it. Okay. If I etch into this, mm. see, I can't draw onto this with pencil because it's sort of shiny, yeah. Because it's shiny. So I can't, but then if I mat it and I etch into it, I still have to top coat it yeah. again. I'm trying to just buff the surface. Quite, because if I go across like that, I could risk taking off mm. the pigment there. Okay, should be able to. Should be able to do pencil work now. Yeah. Yes. When I drew this, I didn't draw it this thin, this this small. <laughs> How big was the original drawing? A four. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so they've had to be scanned in and then... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love skulls and I know skulls can be pretty and not just like associated with death. 
so I wanted to make a pretty skull so I thought we put the skull within a rose and that was the, the theory behind it right I'm gonna have a go I don't think I'm gonna get the K and the I in, inside the eye but we might get eyeballs okay so what if you did a some of it with that and then etched in with something thinner like what, like what so this is the cuticle bit that I'm using So what we're going to do is we're going to buff it, top coat it, chrome it, seal it. So we're going for pink then. We're going to use the colour, the bottle. The bottle. Because the bottle is the same colour as the bottle. <laughs> I'm not going to mat it and top coat it and do all that again and sketch it on. You could sketch it on if that's what you want to do. I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm just going to eyeball it. <laughs> So I'm using the brush Messy Nessie because it's our smallest brush, it's a tiny brush. We definitely need tiny, 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 tiny details so this brush is perfect. So that thin line there is my guide. Oh my god, that was not easy! Yeah. 
on such a tiny, tiny thing. You still got to do this bit then, haven't you? Yeah, you still want it thin because you, you don't want to lose the facets again. No, no, the facets will still show up because the chrome is reflecting from the facets. All oh, right, okay. So it do it doesn't matter if it is a little bit thicker, but you still want it thin because it just it looks bulky or something, and you yeah. don't want it to look too bulky. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my god! Big, medium. Small, tiny, yeah, tiny. So 12 mil, yeah. 4 mil, <laughs> half a mil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love them. I especially love my earrings, obviously. But yeah, then you've got the colour right there though, haven't you? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? Yeah. I don't think I've done too bad. I mean, obviously the bottle's way more reflective, but it's the same yeah. colour, but because it's reflective, it looks a bit lighter. Yeah, I think it's... Because it's like a mirror, isn't it? Yeah. Where then you couldn't really get that high shine no. on those two, like a mirror. Effect. I don't know, this is pretty damn it's shiny. Like, yeah. So, what do I do with this? Right, yeah, you could wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> that is funny. Imagine having a full set of them. I kind of want a full set of them. <laughs> Can't we just mass produce them? <laughs> I want to. Hold on. Let me just. What? You need to create one that can have gel in it and the lid can come off and it's good. Do you know what? Alicia said, do they work, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, do the earrings work? Wow. Now that would be some serious engineering. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> That is mint. Took a bit of time and effort, but I actually love it. I would wear a full set of things. <laughs> <laughs> How ridiculous, I know. There you are, guys. I hope you had fun watching. I hope you learnt lots. And uh, I want you to make a little mini gel polish bottles, please. I want to see them. I want to see you make them. Yeah, so thank you for watching um, and I hope you love my earrings as well that Mark Lloyd made for me. Thank you, Adam, for sorting it out. And I'm never taking these out my ears. Never. <laughs> so if you see me, come up to me and have a little look at them because in person they look even better. <laughs> and so do I. <laughs> no, I don't. I look awful. <laughs> um, you know. This takes a lot of time and effort. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Ta-ra, Luke!